The federal government has commenced the training of youth facilitators for the at risk children program in Sokoto State with about 60,000 vulnerable children expected to benefit from the first phase of the program. The special advisor to the president on social investments, Mrs. Miriam Ways, says the state has one of the highest cases of vulnerable kids and pledged government's commitment to providing hope and better lives for them. Ways also said the program would equip the kids and their guardians with necessary skills for them to earn a living and contribute their quota to the society. Protect these children. These children have been out there. Many of them don't have their mothers around them. And we all know the responsibility. I mean, what our mothers have been able to impact on our lives. So I'm really looking forward to engaging in Sokoto because Sokoto is one of our, you know, the states with the highest numbers. And then when it comes to poverty, I'm sure you saw the MPI results recently. We all have a responsibility. It's not just government, even though I'm government. But it's important that we all put our hands together, including the media, to see that if there are any atrocities, I think you need to report it. You need to, we need to protect these children. They've been out on the streets for too long. And uh, we need to give them an opportunity to live a productive life. We need to give them hope. We need to give them skills. We need to make them assets to their families. Many of them, you don't know whether the cure to cancer is lurking in their brains, but they don't have the opportunities. We're just lucky to be where we are today, you know, just by the grace of God. So, inshallah, we'll be able to make a big impact in the lives of these young citizens. So what we're doing now is we're training these uh, youth facilitators to mentor them, to give them, I mean, to protect them. But we're also hoping to begin feeding um, as soon as we get the funds to, to do that. So I think feeding will be a huge incentive. But we want to also incentivize the parents, you know, and the gatekeepers to come out with packages for them. Many of them, you know, they do this out of, not out, they love their children, but they don't appreciate the value of Western education. But foundational literacy and numeracy in this day and age has become critical. You know, and then on that they can build the skills and do something productive, become asset, assets to their family, as I said. And uh, once we have the mothers also learning different things, you know, nutrition, clean cooking, excuse me, we will be able to. And then for the gatekeepers, the malams, if we can train them on, I mean, we can give them high yielding crops, we can get them in, involved in animal husbandry then it should incentivize them to get, keep the children